Hey guys and welcome along to today's video. We're going to walk you down Koalaho's promenade and all the way down to the harbour which has been extended. We have uh, we did this promenade walk a couple of months ago and uh, the harbour works were in progress but right now you can see that they, uh, they're nearly done. We're going to cover how busy it is, going to show you what the weather's like and tell you the new travel rules. There's quite a lot of updates on the travel rules to Spain. Oh yeah, we'll get to that in just a moment. Firstly though, the Kalima is still with us a little bit as you can see in the sky at the moment. The weather's not Perfect, but only today. I feel like we always film on really bad weather days. Kind of sorry about that. Yeah, it's ironic. We made a video about the Kalima, which if you didn't see is when the sky gets all sandy and dusty from Saharan winds. So the sand gets all blown up in the sky. You can't see it perfectly today, but there is like a sort of like a dusty feeling in the air. You can feel it when you breathe a little bit. And to be honest, it's not a bad Kalima, but it's just a really long one. We said in the video it lasts two to three days, but this has been like the longest Kalima ever, <laughs> lasting like two weeks now. Yeah. And uh, yeah. To be fair, checking my weather app on my phone now, it says that the air quality is very unhealthy. So not, not great. Not great. Not yeah. great at all. Although last week it was hazardous, so it's going in the right direction. <laughs> going getting better. Yeah. Yeah, it's not amazing, but uh, yeah. It's getting there. I think in a couple of days we're out of it, but we can't really predict. Yeah. So unpredictable. By the way, don't take this as like really bad news though. Like it's not going to affect your holiday. You probably won't even notice it that much. Um, we probably notice it a bit more because we've been here through it. You know, I, I, when you look into air quality being very unhealthy, I wouldn't panic basically is what I'm trying to say. I think a lot of people would worry about that, but just don't panic about it. So some good news that came into effect from yesterday, the 10th of February, is that masks are no longer obligatory outside where you can keep a safe distance, which is really great news, well, in my opinion, because, yeah, it's nice to be outside without a mask on. Yep. Apart from that pesky Kalima, you might want to put the mask back on for that, but exactly. that. <laughs> uh, whilst we keep the good news rolling, shall we? So That's other good news is uh, today is the 11th of February, so we made a, a video a couple of weeks ago as uh, the travel restrictions were easing for the UK. Uh, so as of today, if you're fully vaccinated, you no longer need a pre-departure test to go back into the UK. And if you're unvaccinated, then you still need to do your pre-departure test and your day two test when you arrive in the UK. But they've scrapped the need for a day eight test. So um, traveling between Spain and the UK is becoming easier and cheaper, which is good news. You also won't need to self-isolate on arrival unless, of course, you test positive for COVID. So that's really good news as well. Yep, really, really good news. Remember, you still need to do the locator forms. If you're traveling to Spain, there's a Spanish locator form. And if you're going back to the UK, there is a UK one that you'll need to fill out as well. If you're coming to Port Ventura, we've covered a few areas like Coralejo and the south of the island. Yeah, you can look through on our channel and find out how to fill out the locator form so we help you with all the postcodes and the things you need to fill out on that. Yeah, they, they made that really difficult in that form, didn't they? I don't know why. That video is very useful and a lot of people have come up to us and yeah. said how, how useful that video has been because, yeah, I mean, it's the kind of information that if we were coming on holiday, we wouldn't know that. I don't think it's that they made it difficult. It's that things with like postcodes and that in a place you don't know and that it's quite hard to find out and it's like, it's loads of little questions that you know if you live here, but if you don't live here, it's, it's difficult. You know? Exactly. It doesn't help that the city and town is even Coralejo. Exactly, yeah, the, the region is La Oliva, and obviously if you're going to Coralejo, you'd never know that. Uh, good to mention as well that we've gone well past it now, but um, to our right, out to the sea over Rocky Point, the surfing today was great, wasn't it? Yeah, there's so many people out surfing, waves are amazing. It's really cool to just see the people in the sea, like loads of surfers. Yeah, so nice. we're basically, what we're saying is we're really jealous of people that can stand up on a surfboard because yeah. if you've watched this channel for long enough, you'll know that we cannot. No, check out our surf vlog if you want to see us falling over for about 10 minutes. Yeah. But in general, the restaurants are looking really busy. You're about to walk past a couple of restaurants here. You'll see that the restaurants are packed. It could be because today's weather is not so great, so it's not really a beach day. But in general, the island's pretty busy and things are um, really starting to feel back to normal. Look, she's posing with a Coralejo sign. Tourism's back. I think she got cold feet as we walked past. Yeah, I think she saw like a few cameras at once. There was a woman <laughs> taking a picture of another one, and then she just bailed from pressure. But yeah, the beaches aren't so busy today because like the weather's not the best day. We always tend to do the walks on bad weather days for some reason. I think when it's sunny, we're just enjoying the weather and then we, we go out walking and it's uh, a bit cloudy. But as you can see, the restaurants are busy. Uh, it's about 1.30 when we're walking. So I guess like it's lunchtime, siesta time. And that's the reason why it's not so busy outside. Yeah, it was nice to have this little walk today. We walked just after having lunch in Quadrophenia, which is one of our favourite places to go for lunch. If you, uh, if you don't know what that is, we made a video all about Quadrophenia, as so you can go and check that out back on our channel. So uh, they do really, really good food there, really good coffee. The staff are lovely, so uh, worth checking out for sure. And every time we go there now, we seem to bump into people that have seen that video. Some of you guys that might be watching right now might have checked out Quadrophenia and seen us there. 
and it's always nice to have a chat with you seen a lot of you guys at the gigs as well and David sees you at Flix and really appreciate you watching our videos it's nice to nice to catch up with you yeah as we said in the video it's nice to know that somebody cares isn't it like <laughs> it's not just it's not just uh, our friends and family watching yeah, I think my mum just goes in our videos and refreshes it yeah. loads of times and gets us loads of views. I thought it was just that. <laughs> that is I what it feels like for ages. Yeah, like I just when we make these videos, we kind of forget that people watch them in a way. Uh, yeah. So we've got some more good news for you as well. Um, today, actually, I was reading this news that as of Sunday night at 11 o'clock, unvaccinated 12 to 17 year olds will be able to travel from UK to Spain with a negative test result. Uh, that negative test needs to be within 72 hours of arrival to the island. So that's really good because that was causing a lot of problems. A lot of people were cancelling their holidays because of this rule. Yeah, of course, if you've got a teenager and uh, they're unvaccinated, it's really difficult. To, well, yeah, now I mean, it's possible to travel. In some cases, I mean, th these teenagers haven't had enough time to have both jabs, you know, so it was, it was, it was causing a lot of problems for a lot of families. So hopefully, so now from, uh, from Monday, uh, you can come with your unvaccinated 12 to 17 year olds with a negative test result. So that's really good news. The other thing is Fortaventura and Lanzarote are really pushing for anyone to be able to travel whether they're unvaccinated or not. So that would be really great if that gets passed because, uh, yeah, stopping a lot of people who don't have the vaccine traveling here. Yeah, since December they've had the rule that you need to be double jabbed to enter Spain, and it's been. It was at first it was only for Christmas and for King's Day and for all the kind of festi festivals and stuff like that, um, but they've just extended it and extended just it and extended it, it. Yeah. and uh, it feels like it's something that that needs to be dropped now. I feel like it's uh, it, it did its job at the time, but I think it's time to drop it now. Yeah, definitely. So let's hope that gets passed and we can see you guys that are vaccinated out here as well. Yes, as Harry just said, Fortaventura and Lanzarote are pushing for that, so hopefully um, Spain listen and uh, it can be dropped in the next couple of days or weeks. When we know anything, we'll of course update you on the channel. In general though, things are looking really busy on the island. Nightlife's good, obviously where I work in Flix is uh, it's getting better and better with the, the, the rules for the masks outside being dropped. Um, alongside that, nightlife is now allowed to stay open until 3am and COVID passports are not necessary, so that's really good. Yeah, that's great. And... Uh, I feel like, like we we're saying, like the busyness and uh, well, alongside the weather as well, everything fluctuates so quickly. Like one day it seems really busy, or one night it's really busy out in the streets, and the next day, or like today in this video, it's not that busy walking around. I don't know how it fluctuates so quickly, but yeah. day to day it's just changing a lot. But at my gigs personally, like the outside ones are always seem to be, they always seem to be busy, but the indoor ones just seem to be like hit and miss, whether it's completely packed or just not that busy it just seems a bit here missing side i think it's the same at flicks right yeah for us obviously we're in indoor we're nightlife so uh last week was really really good for us i had a really really good week and then this week it's kind of dropped off a little bit but even like last night and the night before you can see things are starting to pick up again it's kind of like the weekends are really good here at the moment but um the midweeks are not as great at the moment but uh but as i say it can change like that yeah that was me clicking into the microphone for anyone wondering what just happened there forget we're not on camera today <laughs> So in a moment of time, you're going to see how the harbour has been extended. It's, it's been like doubled in size. It's gone, it's gone crazy, isn't it? I didn't realise until we did this walk how much it has grown. It's, they've extended it massively and it's already full with boats. So yeah. there's loads more boats at the harbour. Yeah, I think that was um, the reason behind extending it actually was the fact that they had so many people applying for a mooring in, uh, in, in the harbour that they didn't have enough room. So they decided to extend it and that's why they filled it up straight away. It makes sense really, doesn't it? They wanted more boats, that's why I extended it. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's good. Uh, to take for, for, one, for once, La Liva taking some logic. <laughs> God, I'm going to get cancelled by La Liva government now, aren't I? <laughs> there goes any future sponsorship deals with La Liva. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, really. <laughs> So I like this little bit of the walk as well. I like the tables here overlooking the sea. Really nice place to sit and have a coffee. Not that I've ever done it, but um, I want to. Yeah, we should do that sometime. Yeah. I've never been to any of those beachfront places, but obviously here, further down I have, but uh, that one, yeah. So there we go, you can see how big the harbour has extended there. It's literally maybe double, triple in size, extending yeah. up. Also, further down this road, we find David's lookalike. We'll add that one to the end of the video. He's got a complete doppelganger. Brilliant. And coming up on our left is where you can book tickets to do any excursions, whether you want to go to Lobos, whether you want to go jet skiing or any of those sorts of things. They have different places where you can book tickets or just ask any questions about the excursions.
Yeah, normally this place is actually really busy with people, um, but we've, as we said, we were filming this at around about two o'clock in the afternoon, so I feel like all the excursions have gone out for the day. But if you come down here in the morning, it's normally packed and people are buying yeah. tickets for different things, whether it be jet skiing, whether it be Lobos excursions or the, you know, the, the, the glass bottom boat, whatever it is, uh, there's a lot of people around here normally. Yeah, early in the morning, this is such a nice vibe with lots of people, especially when it's a nice sunny morning. There they are, there's the places you can get information from. Yeah. Also, at this point in the video, we'd like to mention that it really helps us out if you can hit the like button. If you hit the like button, that helps YouTube spread this video out to more people that will find it useful. So that would uh, really help us out. We'd really appreciate that. Also, if you enjoy these videos, you could subscribe down below as well. That would really help us out, help you get notified when we upload videos. And it's completely free. All it does is notify you when we upload. You can also click the bell button next to the subscribe button, which will notify you every single time we upload. Keep you updated in the travel rules, keep you updated in our vlogs, keep you in the know about Force Ventura. Yeah, quite handy that as we don't have like regular days to upload, we just upload whenever there's something to tell you. So hitting that bell button would, um, will tell you every time we upload. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you consider buying us a coffee. That helps support our channel, helps us being able to keep making this kind of content for you guys. We're going to drop a link for that in the description box below and we'll also put it in the comments section as well. There's the new harbour, looking beautiful as always. The sea was really calm today, really, really nice. Often if you walk along here, where every time I walk along here, I look in the sea for the, the rays. I don't want to call them stingrays, because I don't think they are. I think they're angel rays, like the ones that don't sting. But they're often, like, there's a couple of them that often like float around this area. Float's the wrong word, swimming. They're definitely swimming, aren't they? I guess so. Anyway, that sums up our promenade walk. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much, and we'll catch you in the next video.